He is known for being an ethnic Sorb composer born in Grossbriesen. He studied music and singing at the nearby Leidenschule until 1613. His name is Johann Kruger. In the humble village of Grossbriesen, a young boy named Johann Kruger was born to an innkeeper named George Kruger. Little did they know, this young Sorb boy would go on to become a legendary figure in the world of music. With a passion for music evident from a young age, Kruger enrolled in the local Leidenschul, a school that not only taught traditional subjects but also included music and singing in its curriculum. It was here that his musical journey began to take shape. Seeking further education and musical training, Kruger embarked on a journey. He traveled to Sora and Breslau, absorbing knowledge and honing his skills. But it was in Regensburg where he found his mentor, Paulus Hamburger, who provided him with the guidance and training he needed to excel in music. With a hunger for knowledge, Kruger then made his way to Berlin, where he studied theology at the Berlinisches Gymnasium Zum Grauen Kloster. Little did he know that his theological studies would intertwine with his musical talents in the years to come. In 1616, Kruger's life took an unexpected turn when he was appointed as a house tutor to the von Blumenthal family. Among his pupils was Joachim Friedrich von Blumenthal, who would later become an influential figure in the world of music. Kruger's passion for music continued to grow, and he dedicated himself to further studies, this time in theology at the prestigious University of Wittenberg. It was during this time that he also pursued private studies in music, sharpening his skills and expanding his musical repertoire. In the bustling city of Berlin, Johann Kruger dedicated himself to both teaching and composing music. For a remarkable span of 40 years, he balanced his roles as a teacher at the Gymnasium Zum Grauen Kloster and as the cantor of the Nikolaikirch. This dual commitment allowed him to nurture young minds while also contributing to the rich musical tradition of the time. Kruger's musical talents extended beyond the classroom. He composed numerous concert works and became well known for his writings on music education. In 1643, he had the privilege of meeting the renowned hymn writer Paul Gerhardt. Inspired by Gerhardt's words, Kruger composed the music for several hymns, including the beautiful, We Saw Ich Dyke and Fangen. This collaboration with Gerhardt proved to be a significant milestone in Kruger's career. In 1647, Kruger took on the monumental task of editing the most important German Lutheran hymnal of the 17th century, known as Praxis Pietatis Melica. This hymnal went on to have many editions, cementing its place as a cornerstone of Lutheran music. Kruger's dedication to preserving and promoting religious music made a lasting impact on the musical landscape of his time. Throughout his career, Kruger composed music for various hymns that have stood the test of time. One such example is Johann Frank's Du, O Schoen's Welchbad. Although it may no longer be widely used today, one stanza of this hymn, Kam, O Todd, Du Schlaf's Bruder, gained prominence when Johann Sebastian Bach incorporated it into his solo cantata, Ich will den Kreuzstab Jern Trajan, BWV 56. Kruger's ability to create melodic and memorable tunes made him a sought-after composer in his era. In addition to Frank's hymn, Kruger also composed the tune from Martin Rinkart's Nun Denket alle Gott and Johann Frank's Jesu, Mein Freude. These compositions would later be used by Bach himself, as he crafted a motet bearing the same name as Frank's hymn. Kruger's musical contributions not only enriched the hymnody of his time but also left an indelible mark on future generations of composers. Johann Kruger's career as a composer and teacher was marked by dedication, creativity, and a deep love for music. His collaborations with renowned hymn writers and his role in editing influential hymnals solidified his place in history as an important figure in Lutheran music. Kruger's compositions continue to be cherished and performed today, a testament to his lasting impact on the world of music. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.